Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another tier ranking. But this one is of my own imagination. I know, can you believe it? I do want to do a video where I literally just go on tier maker and just go through like the most popular for The Sims, but I decided that I wanted to do my own because as we all know, I am a super fan of hobbies in The Sims. If there's one pack that I want before we finish up The Sims 4, it's a dedicated hobbies pack, basically with like clubs you can join. I know we have a club system, but I want it like The Sims 2 where they'll send you like a weekly magazine and you can like sign up to go to their secret headquarters. I want fixer upper cars. I want so many different hobbies. And yes, we get a sprinkle of them in every pack. And yes, I am so thankful for that. And we did just get the hobbies system, which I do worked a little bit better. Like I kind of wish that it affected like how quickly you gained your hobbies or how slowly if you disliked it. I've tried to put them all in. I think I got everything. If I did miss a few off, I do apologize for that. You can just yell at me and I'll tell you where I would rank them if I have missed anything. But we are gonna start off with one of the newest hobbies that we have in The Sims 4, and that is the, I've kind of roped skills into this as well, but it is a hobby, I feel like, for some people as well, like medium psychicness. So obviously we got this in paranormal stuff. It is only a five level skill, so it doesn't offer loads. However, I do like it, but it's pretty average for me. It's not one of my favorites. I can't see myself getting a lot of use out of it. Archaeology, I absolutely love archaeology. It came in Jungle Adventure. I have a lot of fun with this skill. It's a 10 level skill. You can find so many different items throughout Salvadorada, but I'm knocking it down from the top tier just because of like the hints of colonialism and stealing things that aren't ours. But I wanted to be an archeologist when I was younger, what can I say? Comedy? Nah, it's a base game skill, isn't it? It's like a fun little hobby to have, but I don't really ever use it unless I'm playing as Johnny Zest, let's be real. I don't think it's quite tragic. Actually, it is pretty tragic, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's ironic to put this in Tragic Clown. I'm sorry, I needed to change the colors. They were throwing me off completely. I have kind of round fitness together, but then also like split some of the fitness stuff up. So this basically means like lifting weights and running on a treadmill, you know, the bare basics of fitness that we've had since a base game. I don't think this is like I use this more than I use comedy, so therefore I am gonna put athletic slash fitness. I like jogging, I really enjoy jogging and sending my sims out for jogs, especially if they get the little headphones, they kind of clear their minds a little bit. So it's going in Green Reaper, it's not the worst, like I'm glad we have it. It's a staple in every game though, bit boring in it. Writing is right on up there, joining archeology. span I love writing, I love this skill. Like the more you level up, the more it allows you to do. You can write sick notes, which I really think is such a cute addition. You can also obviously write and publish your own books. And you can also sell them if you have get to work. There is a plethora of activities to do with writing. Wellness, this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. I know I get told so many times spa day isn't worth it. Spa day shouldn't be a game pack. Spa day has no gameplay. Bitch, try me. Almost every single one of my sims will be into yoga or meditation. I cannot get enough of this hobby. Bowling, I really like as a skill. I like the pack. I think it's a very cute, like, get the whole family out, you know. The Sims 4 severely suffers from being a young adult simulator and partying and drinking and like hobbies only for adults and teens and above. But bowling, kids can do it. It's a lot of fun. However, 
it takes ages and therefore it's it's going in my average. Flower arranging, I'm sorry, I feel like I have such unpopular opinions when it comes to hobbies, but I bloody love a bit of flower arranging. This came with The Sims 4 Seasons. I love how much money you can make off this hobby and I just think it's a really cute hobby to have. I would miss it from my game if I didn't have it. And I think it's like a great addition to gardening, like Sims with green fingers, like they can't own house plants, so like flower arranging is the closest that I can get to it. Cooking, I mean, cooking is just like, it's just there, isn't it? Like I love, I love watching my Sims cook. I love getting new recipes in the game. It's actually one of my favorite things, but I mean, you just need cooking, don't you? Like it's not, it's a hobby for some Sims, but it's kind of just a necessity for most. Dancing? I have to say, I don't like dancing in The Sims 4. The fact that we can't slow dance is honestly a sin. Like, we should definitely be able to slow dance. And also, it's only a level 5 skill and I just don't think the dance moves are that great. I am sorry, get together. However, DJ mixing? I actually really like DJ mixing, I'm not gonna lie. It's going into my rosebud. Once again, came with get together. I think it's really fun for your teens to do DJ mixing. I think, like, I usually play this with a very specific type of sim, but I really, really enjoy DJ mixing when I do play it. Fabrication, I really like. I'm so glad we got fabrication in Eco Lifestyle. I think it's really fun. However, there are some downsides. I hate that you can't like resale them unless you have like get to work. I think you should be able to like be able to sell them through gameplay because like you're creating these things and I feel like Eco is all about like bringing up the economy in your area and all of this, so it felt a little flat for me, but I love the range that you can make. I think like all the different items you can make, it offers a lot to the game. Rocket science, I never use. I will only use a rocket science if I need it for a challenge or if I have a sim who's in the astronaut career. Otherwise, you just have a big fuck off rocket on your property. Programming, I actually really like programming. I don't do it enough, I don't think, to put it in the rosebud category. Like, it's not on the same level for me as these, so it's going in my crumple bottom. But I do really like it. Again, if I have a specific sim, like Albi from my Cats and Dogs Let's Play, I love that sims can, like, overclock their PCs. I think it's just such a cute little, like, nerdy thing to have in the game. It's not going in my bottom, never mind. Guitar, I really like the guitar skill. It's my favourite instrument of The Sims 4. I do wish that kids were able to play guitar, that's why it's not in Motherload. I like how you can publish your own songs and earn money from it. It's just a great hobby to have. I have a guitar in almost every single Sims house I build because I use it so much. Once again, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but Herbalism from Outdoor Retreat straight up into Rosebud. The only reason this isn't going in Motherload for me is because you have to go to Granite Falls to get the stuff for herbalism. If I could catch bugs in other worlds or like place bug spawners in other worlds to then be able to catch them, that would be in a Motherload, no doubt. I would use this skill so much more if it weren't only tied to Granite Falls. I've used this camera, I know it's a photography camera, but I'm gonna use it for vlogging, which kind of came with Get Famous, you know, with the drones and also like the the YouTube machine is what I like to call it, the, the Twitch streamer deck. Vlogging is fun, I do like it. I'm gonna put this in Crumple Bottom. It's enjoyable, it does take a little while, it like definitely takes a bit of effort, but it's fun to do as a career as well. Gardening? in The Sims 4. I think this is just going into Rosebud because I am a bit of a green thumb, like I love gardening, I love plants, and it gets boosted up by the fact we're gonna get farming soon <laughs> and we finally have pumpkins, so I just really enjoy gardening. Space game skill is pretty average, but it's better than these ones, let's be real. Acting? 
acting as a hobby. So kids and teens can go to like acting after school activity, you can obviously have a career in acting, um, you can't really do it as a hobby unless it's like just in your mirror. I kind of wish you could like put on plays and stuff. I do like it but it's going in Grim Reaper because I just think there was a little bit more that could be done with acting I feel like. Video gaming, I mean it's pretty bog standard but I, again, I have like a computer or an actual like video games console in most of my sims houses and I think just because I like video gaming like it's a good hobby to have in the sims for me personally. Rock climbing, honestly I'm not the biggest fan of rock climbing. I think it's a little bit boring to watch your sims do, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't really a fan of it when it came in fitness stuff. I'm not really a fan of it in Snowy Escape because like it's all tied to Snowy Escape anyway. You can't place the rock climbing walls in any other world. So therefore it's just a bit naff. Same with sledging, but like sledging is at least fun to watch. Like I love seeing my sims react to it. I like how you can take toddlers and children sledging. I do wish you could do it in other worlds when it snows, but that's why it's going in Grim Reaper. Skiing, again, like these are all tied down by the freaking constraints of snowy escape. I prefer snowboarding over skiing. Again, I think that's just like personal preference. Mischief as a hobby. I actually really like Mischief. It does annoy me when Sims just constantly want to troll to forums. However, I do like the little pranks that they can do. So therefore, it's going in Rosebud. I don't use it all that often, but when I do have a mischievous sim, I really enjoy it. Mixology, I mean, kind of bland. I will only really focus on mixology if I need someone to mix for a party or if they're in the career. So therefore, it's going in Grim Reaper. It's kind of like one of those base game average hobbies that's there. Pipe organ, vampires, I'm sorry, but tragic clown. It's so big and why? For why is that object so oversized? I get it, organs are a big thing. <laughs> but like when this comes up in Dream Home Decorator, like when it's a liked hobby, I'm just like, why? Why do you have to like the pipe organ? Who would choose to have a pipe organ in their home unless you like play it for your church? It's going in Tragic Clown. Baking, straight to the top. Hear me out, I don't like the cupcake machine from get to work. Horrifically oversized. Why that like didn't come in a smaller option, I will never know. However, I have a mod that allows you just to do baking in the oven and I really love baking. I have my Sims bake all the time. It's like up there with herbalism for what I have my sims do. I feel like baking like really makes a sim. It gives them so much personality if they have baking as a hobby. It's like people who love the colors purple and yellow. Like if they love those colors, they will love them with their whole ass heart. That's how I feel about baking. Fishing, I actually don't mind fishing. I think it's quite a fun hobby to have. I think it's quite cute. Um, I wouldn't probably send my sims like out of the way to do it unless I was playing like a rags to riches or just like saw it for my sim but I'm glad it's there. I like all the different fish that you can catch. I like how they're updated as well for like each pack that we get. Painting I really like. You will probably see a theme here like all the creative sort of hobbies I really really enjoy. I love painting. I love figure painting that came with Discover University, I think. I think figure painting has made painting so much more fun for me personally. Or maybe it came with the stylist career, I'm not too sure. I love it though, I think painting is so much fun. I'm actually gonna put painting in Motherload. So many of my sims paint. Juice fizzing? Hmm. I really like juice fizzing, I have to say. I like how it's a hobby that you can kind of just do and like leave to its own devices. However, I don't use it as much as I probably should, but I do like it. So it's going into Rosebud. Photography, I really like photography. However, I think the camera deserves an up 
update, which sounds weird to say because this came in Get to Work, it then came with Moschino, and it was like updated between those two things. I really love it, but the camera needs an update. It should have free movement. What we just got in Dream Home Decorator, we should have that if a sim is using a camera without a tripod. Because obviously if you're using a tripod, your movement is restricted a bit more. But like if you're just doing it as a handheld camera, it should be updated to be free movement. So this is going in like only because of the constraints of the camera. Piano, I like. I like how kids can do piano. I think it's cute. It's second to the guitar skill for me when it comes to music. Again, you can like self-publish your own songs. Fun. Media production, I haven't played with it enough to be honest. I think it's cool and I kind of want to have a sim who's like a DJ but also into music production. I don't know why I didn't do that in Get Famous. But yeah, I really enjoyed it when I played it. I just don't play it enough. So it's not Tragic Clown. I don't think it's a bad hobby to have or a bad skill, but I just need to play with it more. Robotics, again, I feel like I need to play with it more. It's a little bit sad that you can't sell your robotic stuff. I kind of wish you could. Um, I think it would be a lot better if you could like make money from this. Like if people like asked you to create robots for them, I think that would have been so useful as like a progression for robotics. But again, it's not a bad skill. It's just a little bit underutilized, I feel like. Reading is going in my average. I know reading is like kind of just there, but I like that you can read skill books. I wish we had more books, to be honest. I feel like whenever I have a sim who I know is a bookworm, usually I don't give them the bookworm trait because it's a little bit useless, but I just wish there was more of a choice. I like how that you can like write your own books and then you can sell them if you have get to work. I think it's cute. Chess is just like average for me. It's not a bad hobby to have, but I feel like Sims really gravitate towards chess tables, which is kind of annoying. Very handy for the logic skill, but like as a hobby, meh. Football is useless in The Sims 4. We got a soccer ball in Discover University, but all your Sims can do is like keep your fees. We didn't get a net, which I find weird. I really wish that like you could buy a net for your back gardens and your kids could do like penalty shootouts and stuff like that. It's useless. Don't actually know, like we got it because Discover University, you can have a scholarship for like football and there's a football team, but it, yeah, it's just, naff in it. Woodworking is going straight into my mother load. I wish this got more love. I wish that woodworking was updated. I wish it was its own skill. I wish it weren't tied to handiness. I wish woodworking was like a level 10 skill all on its own. It's been in since base game, but holy crap, this deserves more love. I love how your Sims can create furniture, they can create bathtubs, they can create toilets, tables, chairs. It needs an update and I've been asking for that from the Sims team for so long. I feel like it should have come with eco lifestyle and I was very disappointed when it didn't. Knitting, again, is going straight into my mother load. I love how with llamas that we're getting in cottage living, it like offsets the cost of wool. That I love, I love knitting, I love Plopsy. I think knitting is a great hobby, I use it all of the time. Pet training, going straight into Tragic Clown, came with cats and dogs, when have you ever pet trained? This is used for like, I know we're getting foraging in cottage living, but we also have like, you know, breaking rocks, finding elements, hunting for frogs. So this is kind of just like hunter and gatherer, all enclosed. And I actually really love it as a hobby. Very lucrative, something that you can do by yourself. Yes, it's a bit of a ball ache to like find rocks and stuff to dig, but I really love finding elements. I really like finding gemstones. I love being able to find collections and it is up there with some of the strongest hobbies to have. Journaling, we got journals in parenthood. I personally really like it. I think it adds a lot of personality to your sim if they have a journal. I love how they can hide it. However, I do wish it gave you like more notifications about like what your sim was writing about. Like I wish there was sort of a memory system tied to journaling. I definitely think that could be updated in the future. I do like it, but it is a bit underwhelming. 
Camping, I really like as a hobby. I just don't do it enough, to be completely honest. I love everything that came with outdoor retreat. I actually think outdoor retreat, like, although usually in my pack rankings, I say it's quite low. If you're in the mood for it, it's a good pack. But like, I just don't know. Camping is just kind of there for me. I have decided to put farming in because obviously in this new pack we'll be able to take care of, unfortunately, not pigs. The only options we have were pigs, horses, and another farmyard animal that we aren't getting, which <laughs> maybe the Sims team just didn't want to give us any hints in these in-game icons. So I've put farming. Obviously, it's a little bit hard to judge because I haven't played it, but... I feel like I'm either gonna love this or I'm gonna like it. So therefore it's going in rosebud. Candle making, I like, I just don't use it enough. It came with eco lifestyle. I think it's a fun little niche hobby to have. I like how you can make money off it if you decide to sell them on the tables in eco lifestyle. But yeah, it's kind of just there for me. They also obviously didn't have like an image for needlepoint or embroidery or cross stitch, whatever you wanna call this new hobby that we're getting in the new pack. I feel like this is probably a like as well. I'm gonna enjoy it. Kids can do it, which I think is always a plus. Beekeeping is kind of boring, but I personally really love it. I love the fact that we have bees in The Sims 4. I love that Sims like can get honey. I just, I think it's dead cute. So therefore it's going in my like, might be an unpopular opinion. Ice skating and roller skating, honestly, I wanna love them, but it's so sad. You can only do it on like specific ice rinks or roller rinks. I wish that your Sims could ice skate on ponds. I wish that they could roller skate on like the jogging paths that we have in the game, but unfortunately they can't do either of those things. So they just fall flat for me. The singing skill, I love karaoke, absolutely love it in my game. I would miss it if I didn't have it. I quite like getting to hear your Sims different voices, but there's not really anything to do with that skill or like hobby outside of just like karaoke. So therefore it's going in my average. Research and debate. Again, it's one of those ones that adds a lot of personality to Sims, but like how useful is it? I also haven't used it that much, especially like since my Discover University Let's Play. I like giving it to my Sims as sort of like a background hobby, but I would never probably go out of my way, but I don't think it's a bad hobby and I like that it's included. So therefore it's gonna go in Crumple Bottom. And then Violin. I'm sorry, this is going in, um, where do I want it? Tragic Clown or Grim Reaper? I hate the sound of violins. I know so many people will be like, oh my God, I love the sound of violins. I like them when they're in like a full orchestra. I think they're incredible. Violin by itself just grinds my gears, especially when Sims are a low level. And it's probably my least favorite instrument alongside the pipe organ. Actually, it's not as bad as the pipe organ, so it's going in Grim Reaper. There we have it. That's my roundup of hobbies that are included in The Sims 4. Again, I apologize if I missed any. If I did, let me know down below and I will give them a ranking based on what I think about them. Oops, I realized in editing, I didn't really focus on like kids' hobbies, but kids can't really do like too much different. Like there's different activities they can do. However, I talked about acting and not scouting. I love scouting it would be in my rosebud. It would be in the second to top category because I really like it. I love how it can give you different skills. I love how you can collect badges. I definitely prefer it over acting. What I will also do is actually leave a link to this tier ranker. I know it's probably not gonna have the same colors, um, but hopefully it should work anyway. Just you might have to switch the colors if it bothers you as much as it bothers me. I really enjoyed this video. I'm actually really proud that I came up with this. <laughs> Especially with having likes and dislikes now. Although I do still wish that we had like a full hobby system and like an interest system. I think that would just be so good for The Sims and I'm never ever gonna stop asking for a hobbies pack 
to be honest. But let me know what you thought about my ranking. Is there anything that you majorly agree with or majorly disagree with? I would like to hear your reasonings why, but do keep in mind we all play our games differently. Obviously we're all gonna have different opinions, but thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.